Hello dear viewers, we are starting again our work in the state television company Western Armenia. Let's see the broadcast for today. The speech of the Speaker of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia. Many people are afraid to go to Baku. New lights from Baku. What Azerbaijan is doing in Artsakh is called cultural cleansing. Mayor of Stepan Agert. Alam Charg, freedom fighter and exile. The educational perspectives of the genocide committed against the Armenians. The premiere of the film Marshall Brotherhood. About your old Vazgen Ohanesov. Let's support the state television of Western Armenia. On 3 November, Armenia Saikan, the Speaker of the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia, gave a speech. She presented the speech of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Ms. Lydia Margosyan, and the speech of the President of the Nation Council of the Republic of Western Armenia, Mr. Armenak Abrahamian. They talked at the event dedicated to the 14th anniversary of the Armenian Union, which took place in Bourgelet, Valence, France. In her speech, Ms. President mentioned the ontological struggle of the Armenian nation, which is based on the legacy of the survivors of the genocide. She mentioned in her speech, I am quoting here, We are all the descendants of the survivors of the genocide against the Armenians who, instead of living in their homeland, are scattered around the world as immigrants. Struggling for our right to exist is vital, because this is the only way to rebuild our nation. President Armenia Gabrielhamian emphasized that the right to national restoration is vital for the existence of the Armenian people. He spoke about the everyday dangers of genocide and called for maintaining respect for the homeland and to struggle against ongoing challenges. Mr. Abrahamian stated that the protection of cultural values is the right of existence of the Armenian people. He emphasized that the representatives of Western Armenia in the United Nations are raising the issue of national rights. Now let's see who and why they are afraid of going to Baku. European parliamentarians were warned to be careful during COP29, which will be held in Baku. One of the members of the European Parliament, Michael Blas, informed Euronews that they will be provided with force and laptops before leaving for Baku. Blas believes that they were instructed to use regular phones and then reasoned that who could steal their personal information from smartphones. The Member of Parliament emphasized that following security advisors have warned about the possibility of hacking our devices. This is a warning based on the experience of the repression in the region. Even as members of the European Parliament, we cannot communicate freely without fear of government control. Everything is clear to me. Azerbaijan suppresses critical voices and uses the COP as a platform for image management, not for a real dialogue, concluded the Member of Parliament. So earlier, the head of the German delegation of the Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe, Frank Schwabe, said that the members of the Parliament and representatives of non-governmental organizations are afraid to go to Baku within the framework of the summit. New lights from Baku on the eve of COP29, and this time, once again, the representatives of Baku submitted Accusations to Armenia on the eve of COP29, Member of Parliament of Milim Mejlis and President of West Azerbaijan Community, Aziz Alek Bari, announced that 450 out of 600 cemeteries were completely destroyed in 300 settlements of Western Azerbaijan. They blame Armenia and the countries that conduct anti-Azerbaijani policies. Alek Bari also emphasized in his speech that the territorial claims of Azerbaijan is to Armenia. When Baku talks about Western Azerbaijan, they mean the entire territory of Eastern Armenia. Mayor Stepanakir called culture cleansing the actions carried out by Baku. Baku tries to erase the Armenian culture from Stepanakir by destroying the old district. The historical values of our city are being destroyed and the international community is aware of this. The world is silently watching the elimination of an entire civilization. Once again, universal values and international humanitarian law are subordinated to political interests. Dear viewers, on the 1st of November was the day of the installation of the well-known monument, Tatik Papik, in English variant Grandma and Grandpa. It is situated in Stepanakert, that is the main symbol of Artsakh, the fate of which is unknown yet. Alam Chag, exiled Armenian poet translator, he was born in Garin, nowadays Western Armenia, and devoted to the Armenian liberation struggle. Had education in Karin, Varshapat, and Tiflis, and then he continued his education in Leipzig and Paris. His writing are published under the code name Exile. Thus emphasized the spirit of freedom and national struggle. After the genocide, he left for Paris and established there. He continued his mission for homeland. He died in 1947 on his way from Yerevan. We'd like to inform about an event entitled Education Perspective on the theme of genocide against Armenians. It will be held on 28 November at 3 o'clock at the Museum Institute of the Genocide Against the Armenians.
70-year-old Romina Fajar from Uruguay will present her essay among knowledge and silence. It won an essay competition held in schools of Uruguay dedicated to the memory of the victims of the genocide against Armenians. The purpose of this competition is to teach about genocide and develop educational initiatives. Professor Aldo Rodriguez and Javier Poladian will give a speech. Students and teachers of high school can participate in the event. They can register in advance by calling the following numbers 0986900011. In Moscow, the premiere of the film Combat Brotherhood was held in the Union of Armenians of Russia. It is dedicated to the hero of the Soviet Union, Vazgen Uhanesov, aviation colonel, fighter pilot. The director of the film is Garik Mashkarian. The producer and host is Ruben Pashinyan. Vazgen Uhanesov was born on 10 February 1920 in Orong village of Shirak region. Throughout the war, Uhanesov made 324 combat flights took part in 75 air battles. The year one premiere will take place on 5 November, address 21 Kojun Street. Western Armenia Television, being faithful to its principles and viewers, continues its uninterrupted work with new approaches. As we already know, our television does not engage in self-promotion. It mainly broadcasts the history of Western Armenia. It presents current and future news with political and other contexts and news raising various issues. Western Armenia Television recorded one of its most important achievements, Western Armenia Weekly Magazine, which is aimed at preserving and popularizing our history, culture and identity. We also present the political transition of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, the government, the National Assembly and other structures in a transparent and accessible manner. Dear compatriots, with your support, the possibilities of our television will be further expanded and strengthened. We are strong together. Dear viewers, this was all for today. I wish you a good day. Goodbye.